How are you lads? Best pint of Guinness in Tullamore. I said before Christmas when I did Mullingar that the Midlands had been neglected for too long on this channel. So I stuck on my pint and boots and headed down to Tullamore. And just before the video starts lads, you know how it is. You've got bills to pay, I've got bills to pay. Bills, AKA buying pints. Helping me pay those bills is the lads over at Manscaped. Your balls will thank you. Delighted to be working with Manscaped again going into 2023. They've been supporting me for the guts of two years now, lads. So support me by supporting them. Manscaped are top of the game. The GOAT in terms of male grooming. I'm talking balls. I'm talking face. I'm talking balls then face. YOLO. Who's going to give out to you? Maybe go face and then balls. But whatever you're into. You already know all about the lawnmower 4.0. Best shaver in the game the weed whacker for the awkward places the nose the ears crop preserver crop reviver essentials and it all comes in the handy little man bag the shed we've got shampoos deodorant body wash so head over to manscaped.com use the code pints20 to get 20 percent off plus free shipping <laughs> all right lads happy new year first pinting video of the new year where is the best point to Guinness in Tullamore? We're about to find out. I'm on another Midlands mission. I was so impressed by the points in Mullingar. I came straight. That was right before Christmas. So I've come straight back to the Midlands after Christmas. This is just a side note. This is going to be my first point to Guinness in the new year. So I'm a thirsty man. Not doing dry January myself. I can't because of my profession. I'm a very busy man. Can't be giving up the points. Unfortunately, if you are doing dry January, I do not recommend watching the next half hour or so because you'll crack because I can imagine these points are going to be tasty so with all that being said let's get to it points are a calling right lads heading to pub one um apologies for the the lack of cool intros these days the old drone broke before Christmas I'm getting a new one so yeah apologies for the lack of cool opening scenes I'm heading to Spollins now which is the I think the most recommended pub I am slightly worried because I just walked by it like 10 minutes ago and it looked like it was closed. And it says on, on the Google that it's open at half 12. So slightly worrying. All the pubs are just one. It's a long enough street, but it's just one big road of pubs. Four pubs all in the same street. So I shouldn't get lost. All right, lads, I've come back after about 15 minutes and it is open, baby. Spallin's pub one, let's go. Grand big bar. And it's kind of, uh, yeah, the funny fucking gates of this because it's. Hi, uh, right, that's, that's the first one of the new year. Okay. I'll talk after because it's just about settled perfectly. It looks good to me. It's a couple of the tiniest bubbles I've ever seen in the head. But yeah, it feels pretty cold, but I think it's just, it's fucking bald to get outside anyway, so. Also, I glass, of course you're going to get that here in the Midlands. First point of 2023. Slaunch so lads. Here's to a year of points. Oh baby. Now I think this was I have I have to, like there was four polls recommended and they were all around the same. Like I'd say it was probably a they all got about a quarter of the recommendations. And there was a few other, but like below those four, there was barely anything. And I'd say this was, I think the top recommended, but maybe by like one, one or two. So very even split. I'm expecting four even enough points, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, great start. Head is looking strong and powerful. Thick, creamy. I always get that feeling of, if a pub, if I've walked by a pub and it's open and it's closed, and then I come back to it a few minutes later and it's open, it's clearly not going to be busy. But I, I don't know, I know you lads probably enjoy a bit of liveliness in the videos from time to time, but like first pub of the video, you're just settling in. It's a Sunday, by the way. You never know what you're going to get on a Sunday. I don't often do the videos on the weekends, but um, Sunday in January is never going to be too crazy. But yeah, I just love, it's a really nice, cool pub. Yeah, not a whole lot wrong with that. Um, Stick could be a little bit better. 
but as we all know, shtick is a complete ancient mystery at this stage. Perfect temperature, head staying nice and thick, staying white, no little bubbles, no more bubbles appearing. Not the lightest point I've ever had, but again, at the end of the day, it's stout, it's a heavy drink. You can tell, lads, I'm trying to actually explain the points. It's my New Year's resolution to actually talk more about the point than just go off on tangents, but that's what I do. I'm a tangent master, the tangent guru. Funny story, I came in and I explained to the lovely lady behind the bar, I said, oh, there's a funny, funny request for you. I do this thing, Guinness Guru. She said, all right, yeah. Um, and she poured the point, she's like, so are you doing this for a living? I said, yeah. She goes, geez, I've never seen the likes of it. All oh, these young lads coming in here. And there's this thing, the damage. And I said, well, I hate to, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's actually originated from yours truly. She was like, go away with that. All the young lads are in here talking about the damage and all this sort of stuff. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what a load of bollocks. So I, didn't, I kind of forgot that, like, this is obviously the home to Tullamore Jew. Like, and I could be totally wrong, but like, I don't know any, anyone who actually drinks Tullamore Jew. I wonder, is it, <clears throat> is it the thing that it's actually more popular abroad? The Americans or the Brits or, I don't know. I don't know anyone who's ever gone into a bar and said, give us a Tullamore Jew and fucking Coke or anyone who's come to a party with a bottle of Tullamore Jew, so dartboard in the background off the back of that unbelievable final and I'm sure everyone saw the clip of your man I'm gonna forget the name the English fella Adrian something was it What a final that was, up the darts. It's a bit like the Ryder Cup. When the Ryder Cup comes along, everyone's yeah. mad for golf and then two weeks goes by and the, the clubs go away to fucking rust forever. Everyone will be mad playing darts oh, now over the next few weeks. Quite happy with that. I was possibly expecting it to be a little bit better because it was, I think it was the most recommended. But again, like I said, they were all pretty much recommended the same. So any pub could take the crown. Um, I always have a number when a, pull, when a pint is just really, really solid, really lovely. Not too much really wrong with it, but it also doesn't blow my socks off. So 8.2 out of 10 for Spallens. A really strong, really good start to Tullamore. A shout out to the lovely woman behind the bar, Honda Domage. <laughs> okay, heading to pub two, the brewery tap. Uh, yeah, that was a lovely, pleasant little experience in there. Uh, ended up having like a little five minute discussion about cash and whether cash should still be, some pubs don't accept cash and all this sort of stuff. Uh, and an owl at the bar and he was kind of old school. And yeah, it's always good. I always try to, such a man of the people, I always try to have some sort of a chat with the barman or whoever's in the pub instead of just going in, having the pint and fucking off. Well, that's, that's, that's life of a man of the people. That's on to the next pub. Don't cheer for me. All right, lads, pub two, the brewery tap. Fun fact, I was actually in here last year after I did my charity walk from Galway to Ashburn. Didn't, in case you didn't realize, I'm a charity legend. But it's not the charity guru, it's the Guinness guru into the brewery tap. Really lads, a bit busier in here, as expected, more into the middle of the town, um, right beside the uh, Bridge Shopping Centre. Everything in Tullamore seems to be called the Bridge, the Bridge House Hotel, the Bridge Shopping Centre. That's actually pretty much it, so I wouldn't say everything in Tullamore. Anyway, Slauncher, this looks really, really good. Came in, two young lads behind the bar, they said, oh, here we go. Um, I actually recognised them from when I was here last year after my hashtag charity walk, hashtag charity legend. But it's not about me being a great man for charity. Like, do you know what I mean? Just doing my job. Anyway, it's not you. Perfect temperature, perfect size head, perfect domage. Domage, the bane of the last bar woman's life. 
What about the tiltage? Oh, shit. Gump. Serious gear. Serious gear. I'm trying to lean back a bit, get in the shot here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, a bit of crack in here. Walked in. There's a, a heap of lads. Looks like they're on a big stag dude. Down from, they're all screaming at the telly. It's like, I don't know who was playing. They're all like, get it out. Come on. How was he with? Typical in the Dublin soccer heads. There's about 20 of them in there. I was over chatting to them. And they're on, they're on their little yearly trip or something, Saturday, Sunday job. He said, because it's Sunday today. He was like, yeah, bus man's coming and picking us up later. I said, geez, that poor bus man. The boys be steaming, but that's what it's all about. To crack with the fucking lads, watching sport, talking shy. That's all lads want to do. Lovely point, that. Fucking lovely. I'm, I'm trying not to look at it too much because the shtick isn't going to be great. I nearly think I should do these fucking blindfolds at that time because when the shtick isn't great, it nearly puts me off when I'm going for a score. Like, But, like I said, sometimes the shtick can be really good and the pint not taste great and vice versa. But you've heard me say that a trillion times. So, why don't I just shut up and drink it? Can I get a picture of it? Yeah, Is but that right? I'll come over to you in a sec, yeah? Yeah, so. yeah sound. Cheers. Shaking hands and kissing babies, lads. I haven't a clue what I'm talking about, just in case. <laughs> banter. Banter is flowing in Tullamore. Tullamore, that banter, please. I do like, I've said it before, I do like coming on Sundays. I know you guys don't give a shit about all the, the background stuff. You just want to see the pints, but... Um, yeah, Sundays are always quite nice, but you just, you never know what you get on a Sunday. You could get, like that, you get a bunch of rowdy fuckers, you could get an absolute dead pub, whereas you kind of know if you go on a Tuesday and Wednesday, that's when I, or I usually go Wednesday or Thursday, you kind of know the pubs will be quiet enough. Um, but Sundays are good plan. But like, I need a weekend too, lads. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've got the hardest job in the world. Those, those shows were the toughest jobs. I should be on that. Because this is not easy. Swill, swill, swill. Tick head, staying there to the end. A bit of shtick came in, came in clutch, as they say in the NBA. Also, this year I'm trying to not just compare the port, the point. You definitely get hear those lads in the background, not a mad one. But yeah, one, one thing I'm trying to do in 2023, even though I hate New Year's resolutions, is like not compare, not just think, oh, the last port, well, like just, just do the. Talk about the fucking pint itself, because if then the kind of the first pub has like an advantage because it's not getting compared to a pub before that. Does that make any sense? Let's get down to serious business and talk about this pint. It looked amazing. It tastes good, but it, the taste doesn't live up to how good it looked. Not to say it tastes bad whatsoever, but it looked like unbelievable. I'll even put the picture in now. I know I took a video, but I took such a good picture of it. Creamy and rich. Something about the taste just... I'm, I've, I've already broken my New Year's resolution. Something about the taste in Spallings. He's done it, he's fucked it. Was ever so slightly better. Kind of creamier. This one definitely was creamier. 8.2, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I have to do it. 8.2 out of 10 for the brewery tap. There's nothing in it. Different qualities that make some qualities about the last one. Like, fuck the New Year's resolution. I have to compare it to the last one. Spallens, slightly tastier. This one's slightly creamier. Can't separate them. 8.2. Sue me. Right, lads. It's gotten a bit darker. I went for a cheeky coffee. I recharged the camera a little bit. Two down, two to go. The Old Harbour Bar is next. I think I'm going down the right street. It's the only pub that's not actually on the main street and then Eugene Kelly's is up by the water. And by the water, by. Um, so yeah, I could be possibly lost, but I will update soon.
hate to break it to you lads, but she is closed. Jeez lads, I was about to walk away and a couple of lads who I took a picture with earlier, shaking hands against the babies, they were like, go down there and go left, there's, a, there's another door. The feckin' place looks totally closed, so they mustn't want people coming in, especially gobshites like me, but I'm coming. So this is the secret door, the lounge boy. So that's the door I was trying to get in. No, no room in the in pal. Right lads, this, like, I know the last two looked good, and this is, you can see the head, they always say if the head is above the harp, it's fine. I do, I think I like the head bigger than the average man, because I probably have a head myself, bigger than the average man, a fucking bald one at that. Yes, some people might say that head is too big, I actually think that's lovely, and that to me would suggest it's gonna be creamy as, creamy AF, as the kids say. As, I couldn't spot a bubble in that head if you ask me to. It's absolutely perfect. This pint is just immaculate. Could do with another maybe millimeter damage, but we won't we won't complain about it. Oh Jesus Christ, this seems like it could be an absolute winner. Slancher lads. Leinster jersey in the background, Leinster. Got a bit of GAA on the telly, on a crowd pack on TG Kiara, Oscailga. Yeah, three very different bars so far. I'm doing my best to try to get the B-roll, as we call it in the biz, AKA the footage of the pubs. But like where I was trying to get in the door, it seems as if they don't even use that door, because there's like seats in front of it and all, so. And it seems like it's like a little function room back there, so. Kind of, it's a bit of a strange one, like, because there's no sign on it or anything. It just has that vibe of, like, the locals will know to go to the side door. But if a randomer was here and they went to go in, they wouldn't know. But I feel it's like the type of thing where they don't really expect to get that many randomers. Random gobshites like myself, trying to pull the door that's locked. Probably been locked for years. Um, but the only thing that's locked, what? I'm not locked, I'm very sober, I'm on point, I'm a professional. Anyway, I haven't said a word about the point, wouldn't be like me. Yeah, so it's an incredibly drinkable point. Drinkability factor out of 10, 500. And um, you know, you just get those points, they, like stout is heavy, we all know stout is a heavy drink, and I don't know if it's just because I'm drinking it so long, not even so long, as if I'm 90 years old, but because I'm like, drinking so much of it or whatever that it tends to go down pretty easy but then sometimes you get a point that you could literally drink like water in a good way and this is what's happening right now and like I just had a coffee I just had like a tiny little bit of a roll uh, so I wouldn't like fill myself up but I'm always kind of like oh should I have done that because I'm you don't want to be drinking Guinness on a full stomach not that I have a, have a full stomach and my fear was kind of like I'd come into this pub and I'd be a bit like, ooh, I'm gassy and burping and I, the, the pint would be too heavy. This pint is literally going down the gullet like there's no tomorrow. Smooth as a baby's arse, even though that's a really weird thing to say and a really weird way to put it when you're talking about drinking something. That's as smooth as a baby's arse. I don't have a, any kids, so I wouldn't know what a baby's arse. I wouldn't know how smooth it is, but I hear they're smooth. Okay, conversation's getting a bit weird, let's move on. Very thick, creamy head. That's the thing about when the head is really thick at the top um, and it's like almost at a harp. People might say the head is too thick, but then it just stays thick as fuck until the very end. All oh, the boys are watching City, City Chelsea. It's actually a really beautiful pint. No sort of lingering aftertaste. A couple of the pints before, a bit too roasty possibly. Left a little bit of an aftertaste. Um, the shtick rings. I mean, Lord of the Rings. Definitely the best shtick I've gotten today. That is absolutely beautiful. 
that's a, that's a step up, lads. The last two pubs, again, my New Year's resolution to not compare pubs, has swiftly gone down the toilet. Um, but that is a bit of a step up. We had two 8.2s. That's an absolutely beautiful point. Point, point. Absolutely beautiful point in the Old Harbour Bar. More than happy to give that an 8.4 out of 10. Beautiful point. Stick for days. Big fat creamy head. Old style glass. Do you think we're going to get a new style glass in the Midlands? Not a chance. Uh, my, my theory that the new style glasses will be gone out of existence by 2030 is very much in motion. The last thing, do you know what a, a funny point is that I never actually thought of? But at one stage, this was the new style glass. Right lads, after all the shenanigans and the big long saga of trying to get into the place, it was absolutely worth it. Isn't that sky beautiful in the background? By Jesus. It's a beautiful night. Da -na 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 -na. Na -na 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 -na. Anyway, one more pub to go. Eugene Kelly is right up on the water. Uh, and I must say, lads, I'm feeling the love in Tullamore. Sometimes you go to a town, not a single person recognizes you, which is grand. And then sometimes it happens like today where you've got people, you're just shaking hands and kissing babies to the maximum, really. So, um, yeah, it's been amazing. Shout out to all the Tullamoreans. And we have one more pub to go. Okay, lads, you can barely see me. She's gone dark. I'm outside Kelly's, a.k.a. Eugene Kelly's. Very, very highly recommended. Like the rest of them, let's hope we finish on a high. Lads, what is going on? This point is defying the laws of gravity. Look at that damage. Good grief. Lads, good grief. I'm not trying to be too loud. That City Chelsea game is still on. Continuing from the last one, but is that the best damage I've ever seen in my entire life? It's definitely up there. I don't even want to do a tail test because it'll spill. That is absolutely phenomenal. I don't know, the barman didn't seem to know. And there's not a single bubble in the head either. That is absolutely immaculate. Slancha, Jesus. Holy flipping Jesus. I can't get over the much the skill on that. And I always say that anyone could anyone could pour it that high and like let it spill down the side and then yeah it, you'll get that same damage but the fact that he poured it that high and if he poured it another milliliter into that glass it would have spilled and he brought it over to me as well if I got that at the bar I'd be thinking, there's no way. Like I'd be like, yeah, great damage and all, but there's no way I'm fucking carrying that over to my table. So <laughs> I'm glad he brought it over for me. But that's the thing about Guinness, you think it's gonna spill and it just like, it's so thick on the top that you can actually kind of shake it a little bit and it doesn't move. So I'm, I'm gonna try to get over the damage now and actually rate the pint. But that damage, boy jeez, that's what it's all about, lads. And the stick's gonna be unbelievable too. Holy shit. Really cozy bar. The lounge on the left I went in there, I was like, I know the light isn't great in here, it was as red, it was like fucking coppers or something in there, it was so red, so I said to him, is the bar side any brighter? He said, ah, it's a little bit brighter, so I'm here. So this is the best you're gonna get. And that pint could be the best you're gonna get in Tullamore. Man City 3, Chelsea nil. I have time. Bad time to be a Chelsea fan. Like, no, so one, this is one of those situations where I come into a quiet enough, there's a good few people here, but it's, it's kind of quiet. A lot of people are kind of watching the match. And I just like, it looks grand, it looks normal. I'm just sitting here in the corner. You just picture me coming in and plonking this camera on my little tripod on the table 
everyone's going, who is this absolute dickhead? But I'm telling you lads, it just comes with time. So if, if, if for some crazy reason, you fancy doing this sort of YouTube-y stuff yourself, if the only fear you have is going out in public and filming yourself or getting filmed, you gotta just do it. Go balls deep, delve into it. You'll be absolutely mortified the first 10, 20 times and then you just won't give a shite. So that's the only tips I can give you. This point is very, very, very good. Alan Shearer in the background, he's not happy. It's enough for the football, it's about the bloody pints. So yeah, really cosy bar, nice and warm. There's a lounge side of bar side, both similar size, the bar side, the roof's a bit higher. Absolutely class pint lads. Um, the damage was phenomenal. And like, talk about getting value for money. He couldn't have squeezed more Guinness in that grass if he tried. <laughs> They literally, Isaac Newton, the, he's the physics guy, isn't he? E equals MC squared, no, that's Newton. No, that's the other fella, it's Einstein. You can tell I'm no Einstein, but whoever is the physics fella would look at that homage and go, that makes no sense. 8.5 out of 10, the best point of Guinness in Tullamore, the best was saved for last. Eugene Kelly's